So I used to have the really bad habit of backing up during sparring. And honestly, I still do it a little bit sometimes where I'm backing up my sparring partner. He's putting pressure on me and I'm just backing up. I'm not landing anything. I'm kind of just standing more still. And this is mainly because when I first sparred, uh, I got hit pretty hard. And I remember, I think this was like the first or second time that I sparred. Um, my sparring partner didn't even mean it, but he hit me with a fucking head kick. And pff, yeah, that was painful, man. And because of that, you know, ever since I've had that bad habit of really just backing up, especially on people that, you know, are pretty skilled in the gym that have been there a bit longer. And I would just keep backing up on them, even against sort of newer people. Um, <laughs> kind of my weakness is really just spazzy people. And I would back up against those people because they would go crazy like, oh, but there was a strategy or I guess a mindset that I used that really helped me out, that really just helped me to stop backing up. Now, before I get into that, I have a brand new Discord community for martial artists that are looking to dominate in competition. I think one of the biggest reasons why people lose in martial arts is because of mindset. If you don't have a good mindset, then you're gonna go nowhere, man. So I would highly recommend, man, you join the Discord community. Link is in the description below and let me help you out. So something that really helped me out, and this is the thing, right? We always overthink and I have this problem when I'm sparring and I'm overthinking. Okay, like I'm trying to like find the opportunity to land the right hand and that's great and all, but to have that thinking of, okay, you know, being more technical and trying to figure out like, okay, this is the good opportunity to land my jab. When you're a beginner, I honestly don't really think that's a great idea. I think the high tier fighters like UFC fighters and all that, I don't even think that they really think actually. They kind of just, it comes naturally. Like it comes naturally to sort of set up traps and to, you know, counter and throw that right hand. It comes a lot more naturally. They don't really think about it. And this is something that I realized. It's better to just turn off your brain. Just turn it off completely. Don't even think, just throw. Like just work, you know, throw your jab, throw your one, two, throw a right hand here and there. Don't really think it through, just work off your brain completely. Don't think about, okay, I'm gonna land this combo, that combo, just, Turn off your brain, don't think, throw. Like, <laughs> that's it. And I realized that. So I apply that sort of logic to my fight where I'm not gonna think, I'm gonna throw. And because of that, I started to really put on the pressure and I would just throw whatever. I was throwing my jab, just kept coming in with the jab, kept throwing the jab. And when I would just keep throwing the one, two, because the one, two is something that I practice a lot and I'll throw like the one, two, three, I'll throw like my right hand here and there. And that was it. Just applying the same sort of combos that I practice the most in practice. I would just apply it to my fight and I wouldn't think about it. And maybe this sort of mindset isn't good later on when you're going against more technical fighters and you have to kind of think a little bit. I don't really think even the highest tier fighters really think they just because they've been practicing certain combinations and traps for so long it just comes naturally and i think this is a problem that i really had where i would just overthink and because of that i would just end up backing up completely whereas if you just turn off your brain and just keep throwing shots you keep going forward keep throwing that one two you're not backing up and you're putting pressure and when you put on pressure like that your opponent begins to crumble. So yeah, dude, just don't overthink. Don't overthink, keep marching forward. Just keep throwing whatever sort of strikes that you've been practicing. Like I said, brother, I have a Discord community for martial artists looking to build that undestructible mindset and dominate in competition. I would highly recommend, man, you join the community. Link is in the description below, and I hope to see you there, man. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe, and remember, my boys, stay active, stay busy, and most of all, Stay hungry.